welcome back to my channel. Um, we are going to be doing a review on the My Little Pony palette from ColourPop. Um, now, the first My Little Pony <laughs> palette um, was from Pure Cosmetics, and I actually put that in an anti-haul. Um, nothing in that palette really drew me in. Um, I'm not really a fan of My Little Pony, so that's not really why I bought this palette. I bought this palette because the colors really stuck out to me and basically said, buy me, Cassie, buy me. Um, but so I went ahead and bought ColourPop's My Little Pony. So the packaging, <laughs> the packaging is so cute. And even though I'm not a My Little Pony fan, I have to give them props for the packaging because look at that. That is just too cute, okay? Um, and I would say that this one doesn't seem as kiddish to me um, as the other one did. Maybe it has to do with the colors, um, definitely. I think the other ones just kind of remind me of a kid palette. Um, the colors in this are definitely more wearable in my book. Um, so... Uh, and then on the back of the box, you do have all your shadow names. All right. And then this is your case, and this is where it gets even more cute. It's like cute overload. Okay. Look at that. That is just, oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, for all the My Little Pony fans, I think this packaging is just amazing. Um, you have the all of the... You have your My Little Ponies right here. Now, looking at it, you actually think that those are stickers, but they're not. They're not stickers. Um, it is actually part of the case. So I actually like that because at first I thought, oh my gosh, those are going to peel off. But it's not. It's a part of the cover. And then on the back, you have the names of your uh, shadows as well. And I think the shadow colors are, of course, they are my little pony names but i think they're cute you've got butterscotch and blossom and starshine and princess sparkle oh my gosh my daughter was obsessed with princess sparkle for some reason um so i do know about my little pony um anyway so you open it up once again i thought that this was a sticker um but kind of feeling around on it, I don't feel that it would come off. Um, and then, of course, you have the ponies just all inside. Can you see that? Uh, they really did really well with this packaging. And there are your colors. Um, like I said, the colors in this palette are just so much more wearable than the Pure Cosmetics. Um, and these colors really drew me in. So we are going to do um, swatches. We're going to take it by rose, just like I always do. And, uh, and then we'll get into thoughts. Are your swatches they swatch very nicely um, I am in love with these colors they are just so gorgeous um, this one right here in the pan it does look silver for some reason um, but when I swatch it it is kind of this nice beautiful ice blue color and that is this one right here um, and I think that is just a gorgeous color now I do have uh, this one all over uh, on the inner corner and outer corner of my lid um, and then I have this one right here in the middle and uh, when you first feel them I actually think that these are a step up from the yes please palette the yes please palette the shadows were actually a little bit more dry to the touch um, the palette was still very nice but I actually really do think that they stepped up their game and these do feel a little bit more um, buttery <laughs> um, but they do they feel really really nice now this black this black has gotten everywhere and it's kind of irritating me um, 
<laughs> it's just it's getting on my palette here and it's got on the palette like up here and just kind of dirtying it up so I don't really like that I don't know what the deal is because I haven't even used it yet but for some reason um, it keeps <sighs> it keeps coming um, out everywhere and I wouldn't say it's a solid black it's more of like um it's kind of got like a purple tint to it but you know if they come back out with this palette which I'm sure they are uh, so far ColourPop has been re-releasing all their major selling palettes um, and this was I didn't pick this up in a restock it actually just happened to be on the website so I did pick it up that way um, but if you can get your hands on it I think go for it because this palette blends very very nicely the colors are beautiful I actually did not even use um, a wet brush on my eyes today I actually just used a solid dry brush and I had no issues whatsoever and that is just I love it when I can do that I don't have to sit there and spray every time I need to go into a shadow um, and I did not have to do that with this so that is a huge plus for me um, I mean let's talk about this packaging again that is a huge plus but this packaging is just so cute I I mean, there's no other words. It's just solid, cute, 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 cute. So you do get 12 shadows. Um, this palette is $16 on the ColourPop website, and it is worth every bit of your money. So I did create this look using my, my Little Pony palette today. Um, if you do like how this turned out, please keep on watching. Okay, so I went ahead and primed my eyes with Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, so we are going to go in with this first color right here, and this is going to be Flutterby. I'm just gonna put that right in our crease for our transition color. Actually going to take this a little high onto the top part of my crease. I'm going to go into this color right here, which is Apple Jacks, and I'm going to apply that directly into the crease, just a little bit lower than uh, Flutter By. I grabbed a 
uh, shader eye shading brush, uh, my E55 from Sigma. Um, we are going to go into this color right here, and it is the color Sky Dancer, and we are going to create a halo eye. So we're going to do the outer corner and the inner corner. from Wet n Wild and I'm going to take the color what is it um, snuzzle <laughs> this color right here and I'm going to put that in the center of my lid I'm going to finish the rest of my face and I'll be right back okay so let's see now uh, I'm gonna do a little bit on the under eye area so I'm going to actually go back in with um, Flutterby and then we're going to do Applejack but I am using my uh, flat shader brush uh, my Morphe M432 I love this brush to get underneath um, but it's not as dark as I would like it to be so we are going to actually go in with this color right here um, and this is minty and we're going to take that back on our lower lash line as well Sensational. Um, this is my favorite drugstore brand of mascara. this up with my Marc Jacobs lip gloss in the color French Tickler. <laughs> Alright, so this is my completed look. 
I hope you guys like the way that this turned out. I certainly do. Um, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. You can also follow me on Instagram. I will have that link down below as well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.